That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about The Father, the directorial debut of the celebrated novelist and playwright Florian Zeller, which premiered at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival. Uh, it also played at the 2020 Toronto International Film Festival, where, uh, because it's being distributed by Sony Pictures Classics, was not really allowed to be reviewed by press out of that film festival. Hopefully, probably, most likely to keep awards buzz uh, healthy and strong for December 18th, 2020 theatrical release. Um, stars Anthony Hopkins, Olivia Coleman, uh, and Olivia Williams. We watched this movie a while ago, and it's coming out. We've, we're, we're filming this well before December, so mm -hmm. just know that. Mm -hmm. uh, the story is very basic. Yeah. It revolves around an old man who is dealing with senility, mm -hmm. and we kind of bounce back and forth between like reality, like within his own memory. But superficially, it would seem that we see him transitioning from his home into a convalescent home. Mm -hmm. The end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought this movie was excellent. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, yeah. Um, it's very layered. Uh, well, Zeller's uh, considered uh, one of the, because he's young, considered one of the greatest writers of, his, of our time. Well, I don't know who this man is, but I would agree. No. <laughs> Well, I was very impressed because the the story's complex, like the complexities of the story are not, um, it's not confusing. It just made me feel like I was in this like alternate reality mm -hmm. and it was okay that I wasn't sure what was happening. Mm -hmm. It just kind of washed over me. And then when the end came, it, like I felt good about what I had just seen. So good job, sir. However, whoever well, you are. Based on his own play, he, he also hosts a play called The Mother, which Isabel Perf. Isabel Huppert performed um, uh, in New York last fall, which I'm kicking myself for not seeing now. Uh, the Sun. Uh, this film was this play was previously made into a French film called Florida, uh, which oh. I believe uh, significant uh, changes were made to that film, uh, which I remember seeing back in 2015. Uh, so anyway, this is this is him taking charge of his material. Uh, Anthony Hopkins is pretty damn good. Uh, he is doing all the things. He's being funny, bitchy, sad, hysterical, crying like a baby. Oh yeah, very charismatic. Yes, very charming. Mm -hmm. He's yeah, excellent. And, and and upsetting to watch, especially if if you had a parent or grandparent that you have kind of watched this decline happen, and yeah. and how it can happen in stages where, I, I think um, one of the Olivias has a scene with a, a caretaker. Uh, who says like you know this is a swiftly moving situation where you know the waiting period to get into one assisted care facility they might be too far gone already right. by the time they get there and, and that is a progression it, it's told out of order because it's from his you know failing perspective but so um the film begins with us seeing uh, what is his character's name anthony oh that's right anthony we see anthony's sort of uh you know lucid and bright sharp and his one, his daughter, played by one of the Olivias, Olivia Coleman, is explaining that like she's upset with him because another like uh, personal care assistant has left because he was abusive to her physically and verbally. Mm -hmm. So now they have to find another. So a young woman shows up, e Imogene, Imogene Poots, Imogene Poots, mm -hmm. um, to see if she can work with him, and they have a pretty interesting exchange. Mm -hmm. um, he he's very charming to her, but then becomes kind of venomous and like yes. insults her. It turns on such a, a quick dime too. That right. So he so that character seems Anthony seems very sharp, mm -hmm. but very quickly we see like the next day when his daughter returns, it's played by the other Olivia. Olivia Williams. Right. So now the the daughters are being played by two different care two two different actors and. His son-in-law is also being played by two different actors. Mm -hmm. So it's very clear that we're witnessing his memory sort of coming in and out, and his perception of reality being very altered. And also Olivia Coleman as Anne, uh, the, the first scene is she's getting him ready for, she's, gonna, she's met a man that she's fallen in love with, then that she's going to go to Paris. So that's another thing that that's right. he, it he's confused It with. also opens that he's telling... We see his daughter telling him that she is not going to be able to visit him very often because she's moving to Paris. So the next time he see, so we see Anthony returning home one day, 
and there's a man sitting in his house. Mm -hmm. And he's very confused. There's a scene. But right away, Anthony spills all the tea about the Frenchman mm -hmm. to his daughter's husband, which I thought was so funny. Mm -hmm. Because he kind of has some disdain for her. Because we often get references to his other daughter, yes, who we find out died in an accident when she was younger. Mm -hmm. And he seems to favor that daughter much more. Mm -hmm. So there are some... Both Olivia's act their asses off too because I thought they both did an excellent job. The one Olivia, the Coleman. more emotional one. Coleman. Olivia Coleman. She has some really good scenes where we can see like the pain in her face. Oh, yeah. Because not only is she watching a parent on this like rapid decline, but she's also being insulted by him mm -hmm. and feels probably less than loved. Mm -hmm. And she does a very good and, job yeah, demonstrating I mean, that. Um, Col you haven't seen her Oscar winning performance in The Favorite, okay. which I, I highly recommend that you get around to seeing because she's excellent in it. Okay. Uh, but uh, also, whenever I talk about her, um, the first time I noticed her was in this uh, 2010 movie called Tyrannosaurus, where she plays this abused, abused housewife by uh, Eddie Marsan. It's gut-wrenching watching her emotional register like oh. she's a phenomenal well actress. she's excellent mm -hmm. um olivia williams has less to do because initially she's just the other woman and it takes us t the final scene is really where she gets to shine where she learns we learn that she's the nurse um a caretaker in his, the facility he's in yes and yeah her scene because the the final scene is Anthony waking up in a nursing home and being confused, wanting to know where he is. And the other Olivia is playing his nurse. Mm -hmm. And he starts, like, crying like a baby. Yeah. And just the way she's consoling him. And she has a very flat effect throughout mm -hmm. the film. But I think she does an excellent job. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think her portrayal of the... You know, if I were to watch this again, like, on a rewatch, I think I would interpret that as, like, you know, she was always his nurse. Mm -hmm. And the reason she's kind of flat as his daughter is because... Like, as a healthcare provider in that capacity, mm -hmm. you know, you can't get too... I mean, can you imagine the emotional strain those workers have dealing mm -hmm. with those patients? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it's excellent. There's a scene where the daughter strangles Anthony. She, she smothers him. She <laughs> smothers him? <laughs> yeah, let me call him. Like, <laughs> I felt that. I really yeah, do. Mm -hmm. um, I could have sworn uh, the opening... It was uh, Klaus Nomi recording... Uh, in the beginning, but it's not. Um, the soundtrack, uh, the classical music soundtrack, it's Maria Callas. Um, I, I don't know, just it, everything about this, it's just a very classy affair. It was lensed by Ben Smithard, uh, who also recently was the cinematographer in the Downton Abbey film. Um, but, oh, speaking of that, I really like the look. And so, mm -hmm. like, 95% of the film is set in his flat, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. But the way it's shot, it, it's very difficult to tell, like, where they are in position to, like, like how big this flat is. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really, really well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. Uh, Zeller co-wrote, the, the adapted the screenplay with Christopher Hampton, uh, who's also a very notable writer. Um, uh, adapted Dangerous Liaisons and Atonement, uh, both from, you know, very famous source materials. Um, yeah, it, I, I think we, we talked a lot about this film right after we watched it, because it's not such that it's an enjoyable experience, um, and, and it is very simple at heart, but uh, the level of a storyteller you have to be to convey it in this way is impressive. Yeah, what would you give it? I think four out of five is due, you know, Hopkins, I don't think he's been nominated since he won for Silence of the Lambs, but it's a, it's a great performance. It is, from the three of them. From the three of them, yeah. Olivia squared. I would give it four out of five as well. Right. Anything else? No. Bye. Bye.